given the way uh, the season did go, the way some of the games ended, uh, gentlemen asked you if it had to do with physical fitness. Many times we would talk through the year, and, and you told the fans, quite frankly, and you've spoken about it tonight, you had players who were learning on the job. And learning at the MLS level cost you games. Will that be something you completely eliminate next year? Are you done with players learning at this level? I think you've kind of touched on it a couple of times tonight. Um, you can, as Paul just said, you can never say never because you don't know what's around the corner in football as far as uh, injury is concerned. I mean, that's, that's the one thing that we, we hoping and praying that we, we really, we, we hope it's, we've had our first year this year of, of injuries. The, too many good players have been out of our team. And it's a, it's a massive void to fill. It, it really is. And I know that you, you want to instill confidence in players, but you know to replace you know Kuvman's goals was was difficult. I mean, he was he's on top of his game when he got injured. So um, I, I think when you look at it in the cold light today, yes, it, it was too many players learning on the job. And the thing is, you know, the old adage. I mean, there's some older people in this audience, and there's some very young people in this audience, but. When somebody goes down in whatever job you're in, um, you know, they're ill or they're off or having a baby or whatever they're doing, then somebody else has got to step into that void. And that's when you prove yourself. And uh, you either stand or fall during that process. And, um, you know, you can you can judge whether the player stood off or fell just like I can.